Hey my friends, welcome back. So today I want to talk to you about the two driving forces of destiny. Your philosophy and your strategy. And this is going to be true for all areas of your life. Today we're going to talk about health and your health destiny. So first of all, do you have a philosophy of health? Who taught it to you? Where did you pick this thing up from? Is it a philosophy of health that you chose for yourself or was it a philosophy of health that somebody else taught to you or maybe many people taught to you and now you've inherited it? And what are the limitations of that philosophy of health? What are the benefits of that philosophy of health? Do you feel empowered? Do you find that you are the person who's at the center of your health and has the ability to make the difference in your health? Or do you look to outside entities to be the protectors of your health or the guarantors of your health, right? Where does your health come from? Um, does it come from within or does it come from without? All these are really important questions to ask about your philosophy of health. For me, my philosophy of health, the philosophy of health of Adapt and Thrive Chiropractic is that you are meant to thrive. Your body was built to adapt and it was built to thrive and your default state is health. Your body is always adapting towards the most optimum health it can. Now, oftentimes there are things that hold it back and that's part of the challenges of life. But the body is always going to make the best adaptation that it can. And as part of that philosophy of health, it's a recognition that your body is for you. Your body is looking to help you out. It's always adapting. Right now, billions of cells are dying and being remade inside of you so that you can have an amazing physiology, so that you can have incredible function, and that you can have that for decades to come. Now, unfortunately, sometimes we put things upon ourselves that hold back our ability to adapt. And sometimes, because we are mortal, and this world is full of challenges, which is part of how we grow, but because the world has challenges, there will be things that might limit our health from outside of us, that weren't in our control. However, despite that, say you're born with no arms and no legs, despite that, you can still be at 100% of your health potential. So maybe that person with no arms and no legs isn't going to win any Olympic sprinting events, so their level of health, if they're 100, might not look like somebody else's 100, but they can still get what is exceptional health for them given their circumstances. And this is what I'm arguing for you is that no matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what type of adaptation you've had up to this moment in your life, your body wants to be healthy. Your body wants to get back on track if you're not already there. And if you are, you probably can resonate with what I'm saying. It feels right to you because you've experienced it in your own body. You've seen it happen in the mirror and in your whole life. So I hope that you're in that second group. And if you're in that first group, congratulations, you're on the train and you're going to be a thriving person. So now that's the philosophy side, right? Now the strategy is how do we work with that philosophy? How do we tap into our inertia for health, right? How do we make that default state, that desire the body has to adapt the best it can? How do we maximize that? How do we help push it in the right direction? And that's where the strategy comes in. So the first thing that I want to ask is, what is your strategy of health? We asked, did you have a philosophy of health? Now the question is, do you have any strategies for health? Is there a way you like to eat, a way you sleep, a way you move, right? Are there relationships that you choose to have or have chosen to step away from because maybe they didn't serve you? These are all good questions, and I hope you're thinking about them. For me, I want to begin with, the strategy is less important than the philosophy, if you have a disempowering philosophy of health, it doesn't matter what strategies I give you or what strategies somebody else gives you, you already believe that your health is outside of your control, that it's not something you can actually impact or maybe that you don't have the ability or you don't have the right or you're not worthy of being a healthy person. Well, let me say all that's bullshit. You deserve to be healthy. Your body wants to be healthy. And if you're not as healthy as you want to be, there are things we can do to improve it. So... First off, philosophy is more important than strategy, and it is my sincere hope for you that you have an empowering philosophy of health, and if you don't, I invite you to develop an empowering philosophy of health. So with that said, as long as you have an empowering philosophy of health that has a couple key ingredients, the first thing it has to say is that you are the one who's in control of your health. You are the driver of your destiny, 
and it is your health to develop or not to develop. The second part is, is that your body actually wants to be healthy. Your body wants to thrive and be great. And then the third part is that you believe that it will take consistent action to be healthy. As long as you have those three things in your philosophy, you're going to be pretty good. And then in terms of the strategy, you need to pick a strategy that is congruent with you because the third part of that philosophy is that you need to have habits. You need to have daily rituals that you do that allows you to recharge and rebuild your body and that you believe that day after day after day of investing in your health, of improving your physical body, your spiritual body, your emotional body, the more that you're doing those things, the better health you're going to have. But you need to pick those habits that are going to work for you. So for instance, I like to do kettlebells. That's one of the things I like to do for working out as well as Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Now for you, you might like neither of those things. Maybe you don't think it's fun to roll around sweaty with somebody and try to choke each other, right? That's not appealing to everybody. Uh, maybe you don't want to pick up a heavy kettlebell or you don't want to do back squats or you don't want to do deadlifts or whatever it is, right? If that's not for you, don't make it your habit. Don't try to cram that habit into your life if every day you're going to say, oh God, I have to go to the gym today and do back squats. I fucking hate back squats. Don't do them then, right? Pick a philosophy of health that empowers you and pick the strategies that are going to actually be enjoyable because that's how they become habitual. So maybe you want to do Zumba. Maybe you want to do yoga, right? Those are things my wife likes to do. She doesn't really want to do kettlebells and that's cool. I'm not trying to push her. I learned that lesson. She didn't want to do them and pushing too much didn't get anything done. So I encourage you, don't, don't try to cram yourself towards a exciting destiny. Pick something that actually is going to excite you and then allow it to be natural. And lastly, I just want to share with you that I have put together a system of healthy habits, right? And those five habits of health are sleep, breath, nutrition, movement, and mindset. And we're going to continue to unpack those together. But if those don't appeal to you, if those areas of health don't appeal to you, find somebody else who's been really healthy, who's had the results that you want to have and mirror them, right? Model their strategy for success because there's many strategies to get to the health that you want. I'm here to help provide you with the ones that have worked for me and that I've learned through my education process and the experiences I've had out in the world that I've learned these are very important strategies for health, right? Or areas to focus in so that you can have the health you want to have. My friends, I love and appreciate you and I'm excited to see how you grow. Leave in the comments down below what your philosophy of health is. Or leave in the comments below what some of your strategies or your habits for health are. I'd love to hear them. I want to continue to interact with you. I love and appreciate you. Adapt and thrive.